Hi, in this video, we will take a look at how you can set up your Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus for the first time. So, on the side here, there is a power button. So, press and hold to it to launch your phone for the first time. Now, this will set up your Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. It will be uh, pretty much the same process for the Samsung Galaxy S10. So, I just press on the power button and this will launch. Now it says starting Android. And it said let's go, so choose your country of origin. Um, by default, it select my country, so I just choose OK, and then tap on the arrow button, or the start button. It says you need to insert a SIM card to access uh, the network. You don't need to at this point. You can um, set up your phone without the SIM card, but if you want, you can put the SIM card at the top here to proceed. Then tap on I have read and agreed to all of the above checkbox and then tap on next at the bottom and say so how do you want to um, bring your data over so how do you want to migrate data from your older phone over um, you can either use wireless uh, cable and USB connector or skip for now then tap on next then at this point you can also choose to connect to a Wi-Fi or not so if, if you want you can tap on the Wi-Fi and put in the Wi-Fi password And put in the Wi-Fi password and then tap on auto connect switch you can also tap on the advanced button to um, change any other settings otherwise tap on connect and that will attempt to connect to your Wi-Fi router next it gives you some uh, information about the Wi-Fi you can ignore that and tap on the next button now if you are connected to a uh, Wi-Fi network it will try to check for an update so if you got this phone, you know, one year after the, the initial release, then it uh, will ask her to check uh, if it can update to the latest um, software. Now at this point, you can also sign into Google account. Otherwise, you can skip. Um, signing into Google will allow you to download more apps from the Play Store. So if you don't have an account, you can create one by tapping on the Create Account button. If you do have a Google account already from your old device, you can uh, use that same account. So just put it in here, otherwise you can skip and do that later on. So I just tap on skip for now. Next, it says do you want to use location services? So location allows you to use maps and, uh, and other things. And do you want to enable allow scanning? That's for the Wi-Fi and device maintenance. Do you want to send usage and diagnostic data? So you can enable or disable them if you want. And finally, there is um, in updates and apps, so you can uh, tap on that for more information and tap on accept. Next, it asks you how you want to set up your phone to protect the phone with a pin, pattern, password, fingerprints, and uh, face recognitions. If you don't want to set up any security right now, you can uh, choose not now, otherwise, you can choose uh, one of the options, for example, pin. So you can put in the pin and then tap on continued, then put in the pin again. And it says now you review additional apps. So it will give you the options to install any apps that you want to use. So if you don't want to use um, some of the apps, you can basically deselect it. For example, Spotify, Samsung Not, Smart Things. If you don't want to use that, you can turn it off. So you can turn um, on or off some of these services for example if you don't use Samsung Pay you can switch it off if you don't use the health Samsung Health or email or any other things such as uh, Samsung wearable Samsung gear so if you don't have any of that you can also switch it off and finally just tap on the OK button and say so get recommended apps Right here, you can set up the Samsung account. If you do have one, you can sign in. Otherwise, again, you can create an account. It is a good idea to sign in to your Samsung account because it will allow you to do a lot of stuff like uh, backing up to the cloud, 
you can um, download apps through the Galaxy App Stores and other things as well. You can also um, try to, if you ever lose your phone, you can use the um, Samsung account to locate your device. Otherwise, you can just skip for now and tap on skip. And that's all done. So just tap on the finish button. And now you are presented with a home screen and that's it. So it is relatively fast if you just, um, you know, just tap on a lot of the next button. And that's it. That's how you can set up your Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus for the first time. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.